Hey guys, Aegis here, and in this video I'm going to walk you through creating a new mech all the way up to getting it to level 5. First you're going to go to the supermechs.com page, and when this welcome screen loads, you're going to click on the green new player button, and then you're going to be ready to get started. First you're going to get three new items to build your first mech. Follow the green arrow prompts to turn over the cards and see what you've got to build your mech with. So click on OK and it takes you to the workshop. The tutorial will teach you to drag your items over to the workshop and start building your mech. So here we are, we'll drag our torso over, put it in the torso box, and then the other items that can be attached to the mech will open up as you can see here. Click on the legs and drag them over, and then click on the gun and attach it to your mech as well. Now you're ready to go and you'll be brought into your first match automatically. Follow the prompts on the screen. Click on the walk forward button to get into range to fire against the enemy mech. And then it's his turn. You get one action point on your first turn and then two on every other turn. So click on your gun to fire. And there you go, you've destroyed your first mech. The reward screen will tell you what you get for destroying that mech. You get 500 coins, which you can use to buy things to upgrade your mech, and you get 50 experience, which will help you advance your level and unlock more powerful parts for your mech. After you're done, follow the green arrow prompt, click on the OK button, and progress through the tutorial. We've now got five new items. So follow the prompts again, click on the cards, turn over the items. Looks like we've got a couple of new torsos, a couple of new guns, and a repair kit, which can be used to restore our hit points during battle. So let's use some of our new parts in our mech. Let's attach our new, better torso. As you can see here, our mech currently has 108 hit points with this torso. Adding the new vector torso is going to increase that to 120 hit points. We can now attach a second gun and we're ready to go again. Here's our second battle. And we see we've unlocked a new melee attack. The new melee attack is the stomp, which can be used when you're standing directly next to the enemy mech. It will do ill damage to him and knock him back. So we've destroyed our second mech, we get more coins, more experience, click OK and let's keep going. OK, so we've leveled up from level 1 to level 2. Leveling up gives us 2,000 bonus coins in this case and unlocks new equipment slots, a top gun, a module, and a kit slot. As you can see, as we progress through the levels, we're going to unlock new and different types of slots for our mech. At level 10, we're going to unlock two more mech slots. And you can see at level 15, 20, 25, and 30, we get new bonus items. So leveling up is obviously going to help you uh, not only get a more powerful mech, but give you rewards to help you build it. Let's attach our new parts here. We've got some better guns, a better torso, and we'll install our kit so that we can use it in battle if we need it. Here's the campaign. The campaign screen is a map that you can progress through by destroying each of the mechs in the campaign. So continue to choose your attacks and destroy the en enemy mech. Good job. More rewards. Let's keep going. Once you've destroyed the enemy mechs on the screen, you can collect the loot boxes. Once you've picked up all the loot boxes and destroyed all the enemy mechs, your mission will be complete and you can claim your rewards by clicking on the boxes. In the first box we got 500 coins. In the second box we got another 500 coins. So now we're building up some money with which to buy things. The tutorial is going to prompt us to go to the shop and buy some new items. 
You can scroll through and see all the different types of items that can be purchased. Some of them are locked now. The tutorial is pushing us to buy a mini chain gun. So do that. It tells you what the cost of it is. Click on the green arrow to buy. And now we've purchased a mini chain gun. We've also got a top gun slot that we just unlocked, so it's going to prompt you to buy an Energy Blaster V1. Buy that as well. And since our chain gun is a, an ammo requiring weapon, it's going to tell us to buy some bullets, which you can put in one of our module slots and have bullets with which to fire our mini chain gun. You can see there the five bullet consumption means you have to attach a bullet module to your mech. So let's put that over there as well as our top gun. So we've got some new weapons and we've got some bullets. Here's another campaign mission with two mechs in it. And here we can see our new chain gun at work. If you look up at the status in the top left, you can see that we went from 15 to 10 bullets. And that carries through the rest of your campaign mission as well. So be mindful of using your bullets. Here we opened an upgrade box. It's going to restore 25% of our hit points. So now we're back to full health. We've got one more mech to destroy in this mission. So let's get that done and then we can move on and collect our rewards. Okay, so we got our rewards for beating the mech, and now we have to collect our gold reward boxes. Okay, first we've got to level up again, another bonus, now we've unlocked a drone and another module slot. So here, let's collect our loot boxes and open them up. You can see at the top of the screen we have 213 experience points earned, and 550 is going to get us to the next level. Here, one of our loot boxes contained an item box. In that item box, we had some new legs, some armor plating, and a drone. Good timing for the drone, since we just unlocked that slot. Armor plating will add additional hit points to the mech, so let's put that on. And here we can install our drone. Now it's prompting us to go to the workshop and go to the upgrade screen. There's a separate tutorial on fusion and how that works, so take some time and look through that. But the short story is we can destroy old items to increase our new ones. You can see that we're going to destroy our old newbie torso to upgrade our specter. It went up one level, which means it added five hit points and changed its color. Now we've got some free packages as a new player. Packages are different upgrades that affect your account or give you items. Premium account will double the credits that we get every time and also double the experience we earn so we level up quicker. And here's another free item box. Flip over those items and we can use those to build our mech now as well. Let's go back to the campaign. You can see it prompting us to register, which I suggest you do if you want to keep your account. It's a pretty simple process, but I'm just going to continue and go through the rest of the missions. So the missions continue just like every other one. You'll find some enemy mechs to fight and some loot to gather, and you just play through the missions by beating the mechs and then collecting your loot. These small boxes that you find will contain upgrades. You can also destroy the different parts of the landscape um, and you get a hundred credits for every one of those that you destroy. So if you're trying to build up your credits it's worth your time to clear out the entire map. So I'm just clicking through, destroying the enemy mechs. And before fighting the final one, why not use these upgrades? You can see here that in this case it increased my energy and my regeneration. One final mech and we'll have this campaign mission dealt with.
As you can see, as you progress through the campaign missions, your hit points don't regenerate after each match and neither does your ammo. So my hit points are getting low and I don't have any ammo left. Now is probably a good time to use my repair kit and get some more hit points. But as it turns out, I managed to destroy the mech on my next turn anyway. So now we've cleared all the mechs, let's collect our final loot box and move on from this mission. Okay, and that experience got us to level up to level 4. So we get some more bonus credits and we have some new equipment options. Claim the rest of the rewards and we're going to keep going through the campaign. Here you can see it prompting us to go to Ladder Battles and Multiplayer. To do that we've got to register our account, so click on the Register button, provide a username, a password, and an email address. You can see I had my email address in there, I'm going to use a separate one just for this tutorial. Agree to the terms and conditions, click Register, and you can give yourself a nickname that's going to show up in Battles. Your username shows up only when you post on the forum, this is the nickname everyone's going to know you by. So here I put in my name Aegis. When you create a new account, you're going to be offered a one-time starter pack, which is a really great deal if you want to invest some tokens in your account right away. So if you want to do ladder battles, you can click on the multiplayer button there and do that. But for now, we're going to finish the campaign and keep ranking up. So we're going to go through another mission here, a few more battles. That buggy went down pretty quickly. We get some more rewards. We're going to collect some upgrade boxes here. We've got an energy upgrade and we've got a bullet upgrade. The bullet upgrade is good because that's going to restore some of our bullets as we use them. You can see here we're starting with only 10 bullets because we used 5 in the last match. So after we get our bullets down, we're going to want to use that bullet upgrade and restore those. Destroy the next buggy. And let's use those upgrades now. Now we have full bullets again to face our final mech. Pick up the credits for destroying the scenery here. And we'll go into the battle against the mech here. The final mech is usually a little bit stronger than the other ones. You can see this is a pretty evenly matched battle, so we're going to have to use our best tactics in order to survive it. Okay, this last turn we'll finish him off and we've completed yet another campaign mission. And as you can see, we're very close to leveling up. Let's hope for some experience points in our loot boxes here and get to level five. There we go, we're leveled up to level five. We get a grappling hook and another module slot. And as you can see here, we also got 10 tokens. Tokens are premium currency to buy higher quality boxes and items, and you're going to continue to earn those with every level from now on. As you progress through the campaign, you'll see that there's several item boxes that you can open, but first we need some multiplayer wins, so I suggest you go and do that next. Thanks for watching, guys.